I've been super nervous about this project for a while now. One of the reasons why I switched this machine to white ink was so that we could print rugs. And so we just got a regular rug that you could purchase at like a Lowe's. And we're printing on it right now. I'll show you how I've set up the file and what I've done. My biggest concern, because there's a lot of hairs that stick up on this surface, is making sure that my head height was high enough. Um, if it's too low, you run the risk of dragging ink across and ruining the entire rug. So what I did, I did a media check, turned out to be about 4.5 millimeters thick. I went ahead and bumped that up to six millimeters. I also increased my head gap from 1.6 millimeters all the way up to three, just to be on the safe side. So, so far so good. There's some bubbling along the edges of the rubber of this mat. So I've taped them down on both sides. So we'll see how that goes. The white ink was really not showing up well on the test prints. I've always had issues with the white ink. I did a adjustment on the, um, uh, the pressure, positive pressure and negative pressure on the lines. Um, I've done cleanings. It seems like every single time I do a cleaning, it gets worse. I don't understand it. Um, uh, I don't know exactly what's going on, but I do know the last time I printed white ink, the more passes I did, the better. So I'll show you what I did. So I'm printing this at a 1200 resolution, which I've never gone that high before. And it's possible to do 64 passes on this, which is absolutely insane. I usually will do 24 passes to make sure I get a nice hard cure. And it takes forever to print at that level. So uh, 64 passes, is absolutely insane but uh, it should lay down a nice white ink layer without having a lot of styrations in it so you can see right here my bottom layer is a white ink that's the shape of the logo and then i got the color layer that's going to go on top of that So far so good. The other benefit of doing 64 passes means that the ink is getting hit with the UV light that many more times. So despite the fact that it's set up high, at least it's getting hit with the UV light ink or the UV light over and over. So hopefully that ink is drying really well. Super impressed with how those rugs came out. Um, I'm really excited about um, the potential profit margins on those because we could get rugs for, you know, typical rugs that we used to outsource and have to pay like the net price on those for like $600. I could basically get the rug for a hundred, 120 bucks, um, depending on or 80 to $120 depending on the size. So um, uh, the potential profit margins on those should be pretty darn good. So um, kind of excited about that. Anyways, the project went good. Um, we're definitely gonna do it again. I actually ordered a rug today for another client. They, that rug was a four foot by three foot. Uh, this particular client wants an eight foot by four foot rug, which obviously is the max of what our um, flatbed can do. So we'll get that going. It'll be here on Friday. And I'm um, planning on doing some for Mr. Postman to put into the front lobby, but I really think this is gonna be a thing that a lot of schools are gonna order. So it should be a good product line for us. Excited about this one. I appreciate you guys tuning into this video. I'll catch you later. Take care.